Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Rise of the Tomb Raider. We're going to have a quick look and see if we can grab this up the mountain. Like I said, uh, I have actually remembered rather than just randomly going off in a different direction. I wonder if it's possible to like hop up on onto that with the uh, grappling hook. It doesn't look quite like it can be. I mean, I know we can get up the other way. It's, it's always just curiosity, like new ways of uh, moving around the map. You have to wonder if it's possible. And actually, speaking of wondering if it's possible, I thought there was a, a bit up here. Yeah, across to there. So we're going to want to try this. Anyway, let's, let's be better at that. One more go. Yeah, it's a very specific bit that it won't let you in on. No, don't want to go all the way down. As fun as that is, that is not helpful for us at all. What I wanted to try and do was swing from that and get up that. No, it won't work. Okay, knowing it won't work, we'll just leave it. Let's carry on up the mountain. We probably should have done the up first and then come back for that, but... What can I say? I like to do things in an obtuse manner. Yeah, we're not getting past this. Can't get up there. And that's the high dive that I'd really love to be able to get to, but... I've tried everything that's going to be a no-go so this section over here is out uh, up the mountain itself is out let's head back down into the village uh, just for a moment can't exactly toggle a local waypoint but we can at least walk down Rapid descent. It's actually kind of above us up there. Oh, can we do anything with pumpkins? Maybe. Okay, this is actually the village village then. You know what, I think this is where the chickens are supposed to get thrown. I think we're supposed to bring them and chuck them here. So, are there chickens around the village, or is this just going to be an exercise in frustration? That might be one there. Ha! <laughs> 
yeah, I think this is this is likely to be super difficult getting getting the chickens back up here. I don't think we're gonna bother with that. I don't see any that are spawning around up here anyway, so we'll leave it as it is. Let's uh, check see if we've got any skills to put in quickly. Uh, nope. But it is tempting to head on back and spend some of our coins. We've got 357 coins at the moment, which is a, it's a pretty solid number, all things considered. We can grab a couple more there. Uh, that's the high diving. We've already done one of them. The other one was up the mountain. Yeah, I think we might just end up pushing, pushing back on with the plot. And there's no camp that's closer for this. That's going to make it a lot more convenient. I suppose we could, we could fast travel to the infirmary camp and come out. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Fast travel on through. I'll put us closer to that coin stash anyway. Out this way, apparently. Is this the out? Or is this heading in? No, this is the out. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, the right way to be going. So many bits look the same after you've been through them a few times. It's easy to get turned around. Not far to go now. Back into the valley. Let's change to our poison arrows. Fifteen coins. Worth digging them up. I guess that means we can start pushing back through towards the atlas. Take the short route down. From here, we need to, yeah, pretty much just head for the base camp and then round and up from there. Yeah, going back up the mountain. prospect of dragging chickens all the way up to that that pen is uh, is not a fun one I'm wondering if I should make some more explosive arrows actually we've got 27 regulars regular arrows as well. That takes us up to 30. That's a good number. So from here, next point of interest is going to be 
this survival cache. There's a long, long way up the mountain. I don't even remember if it's this way, to be honest. Yeah, it is. Up and up and up and up and even more up. So we probably could have fast travelled in through some of this. Oh yeah, this is the, the way we came out before, isn't it? Ew, that's just messy. I don't think we want to go that way. I think we want to go, yeah, round the edge. We might have access to a few more areas now that we've got the, uh, the wire spool. Yep, bring that swamp water out of your hair. Wait, is this all closed off now? Oh, that's just mean. But it's like right over there. I should be able to make that. Can we can we cheat and like sneak the other way a little? This is probably to make sure that you go through things in the correct path. Doesn't look like there's anything up high. I guess we're gonna have to go over the buildings then. Okay, back we go through the swamp proper. That's disappointing. What a waste of time. That is totally how wire spools work. Climbing. That didn't work. We might need to do a second grab. Although, I can probably do it like that. There we go. Well, we're going to have to actually go the direction of the plot then. Isn't that a shame? Maximum stealth. Just the ones they think might know something about this. Stealth kills. You hear that? Incoming! We're under attack! Okay, I think that's everyone from here. I do see that guy far over there. I think we'll get closer before doing something with him. Uh. 
wonder, do we want to scooch on up higher? Because attacking from the high ground is always beneficial, but I don't think there's actually really anything for us to... Oh, we could make a zip line across. And there's bottles and stuff up here. Alright. Oh, we can just shoot him from up here. That's fine. In the air. So being around this bit, there's actually stuff that's closer. We'll do these bits before we move on through. And the document's going to be inside the building. There on the ground. I've attached everything I've learned so far. Anna and Constantine, they're in charge out here, but someone else is pulling the strings above them. Someone with a lot of cash and the means to move it around. I've narrowed down the source, but I'm having a hard time believing someone in the Vatican is huh? running a private army. But all roads lead to Rome. Brilliant. Trust me, this sounds crazy even to me, but people have to know this. If I'm going to die for this, I want to be on the right side for once. And Constantine, I know you're probably reading this too. You might make me disappear, but you won't win out here. And if I never get the chance to say it to your face, you're out of your fucking mind. That's just amazing. I love the idea that the Vatican has all ordered this, uh, this army. Oh, uh, yeah, get, get the arrows before we move on. And we got experience for being stealthy. That's so interesting. Finish the sweep down here. We're needed back to base camp. Leave them to it. Roger, we're clear. Okay, that's two gone. Don't think we're going to be able to get both of these guys at the same time, but we'll try. Oh, my mouse jiggled. Ah, and he wobbled. Okay. That actually got him. Into position. I got a hit. I'm taking fire. Taking casualties. Okay, that's him gone. Let's die up dart inside. Yeah, my problem is I'm not zooming in when I'm doing the uh, the aiming. It only locks on when you zoom in, and I didn't realise that until just now. I've got to try and remember. Don't need any oil. Overall, that wasn't that wasn't terrible in terms of defeating them. A very quick scooch around for anything worthwhile in here. 
there's actually all this area around the back as well. So uh, let's mark that cache. We'll grab the arrows here. We've got this loot chest. Break action shotgun piece. Ah, oh, and we still can't get to that. That is so frustrating. Probably going to have to come back another time to do it. I have sinned in God's name. Much blood has been spilled on this valley floor. As I speak now, blood continues to flow. Forgive me. That the divine work requires sacrifices does not mean I am clean. Forgive me, for since I've suffered the stigmata in my youth, I have sinned in your name. Forgive those I've killed myself and those who've been killed in my name. They knew not what they were doing. Forgive me. Forgive me for the work I do is not yet done. And there is yet much blood to be spilled. You can't ask for preemptive forgiveness. It's not how it works. Okay, next up, we've got a document up here. Maybe from round this direction we'll be able to swing back down. You are hunters, every last one of you, and I am proud. Your final lesson comes today, a test all hunters must face. Today we'll track the one thing bigger and meaner than me in this valley. Today we'll take down a bear. We only hunt bears when they get old and ornery when they start to enter the village. And now, we have such a bear. I've tracked him to his den, watching him range across the valley, following the other animals. We must throw our spears together. When he rears up, aim straight and true for his heart. A lucky shot between the ribs can drop any beast. Pray you make it, because there won't be a second chance. It's, uh, it's difficult organizing a spear throw like that, because spears can knock, like if a bad throw could knock other projectiles out of uh, position. Why is this like this? Is that... Can we do something with you? Maybe. I don't know. So finally, I think... It's still outside the area. I wonder if I can, like, jump across there. And if I do, is that going to completely screw up my future positioning like, that's a maybe but perhaps we can use the wood pile to get over no Try the, we'll try the long run. Elio, no, definitely not going to happen. That base camp in the hidden ravine is actually from inside there, so it's not, it's not that that we would need to get to. I guess we'll have to come back after the village has been saved. Well, for the moment, let's uh, carry on with the local bits. Ooh, speaking of local bits. That wrong... Wrong type of arrow. This is new to us. And that's the special type of ore, which we haven't got any of up until now. Yeah, you see that glow? Whew. 
For a month I have gone to the forum to hear the prophet speak. I wear robes of the common folk. It would not do for a son of a great house to be seen here. There are rumblings that the patricians and men from the church in the west seek to silence the prophet. I can only listen and reproduce the great man's words. No man has ever told the truth about God, for no man can ever know. There is more sacred in the heart of a farmer or a soldier than in the hearts of lords and emperors. We are all of us deceived by those that claim to speak on behalf of the Creator. No man speaks for him, for his voice in the sky, the water, and the flow of the world. It's very poetic. Now, I'm not uh, religious myself, but I think I'd be more inclined to lean into that kind of uh, an outlook than anything else. Cool, so that's another couple of bits added on. And we do have some of that new metal as well. Ooh, that's that's quite high up. And that actually looked like it's worth us getting some high ground. Those actually lights, they are. Ah, oh, can't shoot them. All right. Let's uh, let's pick this document next. Then that's right next to where it wants us to go. And actually, from up here, I don't see anyone in the next next bit. So. Security guards came at night. Knew they would. I crossed a line when I killed the tech from Echo Squad. I knew I shouldn't have, but I couldn't help it. Remnant weren't enough. I needed something more. They brought me to the windowless room. I thought I was dead. And then Constantine was there. He took my head in his hands and smiled told me he understood. He was like me once. I've sinned, but there could be forgiveness. <laughs> I have been a blunt instrument, just swinging wildly. He told me I could be redeemed. I've got a special skill. I just need sharpening. Trinity can make me a weapon. Point me in the right direction. I almost cried and kissed his feet. I will become what I was meant to be for Trinity, for Constantine. Well, wow, someone's clearly fallen off the uh, the deep end. So it starts sneaking up in and round. I think it's more sensible approaching from this angle than straight up the center path. Ooh, yeah. So what did he say? It's not his call, but he's going to put a recommendation in for us both. Then there'll be an initiation ceremony of some sort. So that's it? We're under attack! Let's do a sweep. I'm under fire! Pop the fuck! <laughs> Yeah, let's let's get behind cover. Get clear. It's two arrows each time we do that. Let's uh, get some explosions going over there. Got him, and you are just an explosion waiting to happen. 
I've right, got 17 arrows, let's make a few more. We started off alright, I probably could have gone up actually. Is there more of them still over there? Hard to say. Get the coin stash if we can. It might tell us. No, uh, it's unsafe. We'll have to come back in a second. No. D Put that down. Oh, hang on. That's actually a. Not expecting that. Oh, I can't see anything. Those lights are terrible. One. Oh, he's right over there, back there, right? Okay. So I think there's only one left now. Let's uh, loot some more of the guys out here. Maybe that will draw them out. There you are. Grenade out. Right, back for the coins. I really like the bow. One shot to knock off the uh, the helmet. One shot to then uh, take out the eyes. It's just a shame we don't get as many arrows. And actually, that's taken us over 400 coins now. So there's even more incentive for us to head back to the supply shack when we get a moment. That is quite the path. Croft is operating against us at every turn. Someone put a fire in her. Lord Croft was too bookish to possess any true resolve. He was a coward. His daughter is something different. I almost gave an order today that no man should kill Croft but me. <laughs> I fear she is starting to cloud my judgment. I must remind myself, the goal is not another dead Croft. The goal is the divine source. Someone's got a crush. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, some more arrows. But you, but you, and you. Up to 31, that's good. So can we do anything with this? Can we turn it off? Not really. Ah, right. I assume we can grab those walkie-talkies off the bodies and booby-trap them with the right skill. That would make a lot of sense. There's a few more. 
And another document. <coughs> this fucking illness. It's ruining my body. Now it threatens my mind as well. I keep drifting off. Getting lost in memories. Lost in thoughts of the day Lord Croft died. How the plan had to shift. How I thought we had failed. And before that, my early days with Trinity. Learning the secret histories of the world, learning that it was our duty to save it. And back farther, to childhood. Constantine and I with only each other to rely on. And then I rip myself free, back to the present. I've always done what had to be done. And this time will be no different. I do like getting these uh, these backstory bits to add a bit of um, roundness to the uh, to the characters in in the story. We're pretty clear on the uh, the villain's motivations, but it's still very very nice to to see the effort that's put in for it. I would not trust a grappling axe onto onto that. I think that's just asking for trouble. Right, we've got a little coin, uh, sorry, survival cash up here. So we'll get that first. Also, there's there's lots of other supplies in here. We'll start down. And there's a camp here, is there? Oh, there's a document just over here. I underestimated our enemy. Elias is now dead because of my fool's errand, and my father has not been seen in two days. We would need to be at our full strength to resist Trinity, but it seems the killing blow was dealt before the fight even began. We have the armor of our faith, but what good is it against an enemy that grows stronger with every passing generation? If we survive this time, I fear our children will not survive the next. And with communication becoming easier and easier, you can't stay hidden for long. Right, we have weapon upgrades available, so let's see. Is there anything we can do on the Death's Breath? No, that's fully upgraded. The hornbow, however, we could do the th thumb release. Or we can focus on the pump action shotgun. Extra ammo? Great. Extra damage as well. Uh, right, so we don't want the ancient hornbow. We want death's breath because it looks the best. Then, skill points, we have two that we can put in. We're almost done with Hunt Mastery. I don't really care about those. We'll get Shotgun Expert because of the incendiary shells. And then we'll go back to Survivor. go body trap specialist it's got the potential to be useful it's not exactly my play style but who knows we might try it out at some point I'd rather big loud explosions that kill in that kind of situation um so we want to try and get to that. Well, I would have thought I would be able to get up onto that. That looks like the kind of thing you can definitely grab hold of. Oh yeah, that is way, way higher than I thought. So we're not going that way to get to it. That's going to be up, up there. Well, before we do that, let's uh, let's go grab the relic. 
instead. Now there's a chance there's a big, big kitty. Ow. That is the wrong arrow type. But we hit it. There it goes. That was that was scrappy. That was very bad. Wrong arrows out. Didn't zoom in for the lock on. That's what I wanted. And all because I got distracted by that skinnable deer up here. Let's get our relic and be done with it. A thin, fluted flint arrowhead snapped in two. Hmm, the base is familiar. The base is similar to arrowheads found in America. The technique survived migration halfway around the world. I love the models that they uh, they have for these. They look really cool. Salvage. Okay, here we go. Heads up. We seem to have lost contact with the team sweeping the lower valley. Do you have eyes on them? <clears throat> Negative. Possible hostiles? Could just be radio interference, but Constantine's not taking chances. <laughs> well, he, uh, Went off the edge. It's lucky that these uh, the stones are, are holding up. All things considered. Some believe the prophet to be God's son risen, but he makes no such claims. Some praise his actions as miracles, but he rejects such attributions. In his humility, his followers see the truth of his message. We see the change coming. I have shed the trappings of my station and now devote myself fully to the Prophet. I spread his word, recruiting others of my station to the cause. But this has enraged the elite and brought the full attention of the church in the West. And that's the start of the end. Okay, on we go then. So, get, oh, it's up there. I see. This is a high dive. Well, it's set out the same as the other high dives. I suspect it's not supposed to be a high dive. But uh, there's plenty of resources around here. We want to keep our eyes peeled. Make sure we don't miss stuff just because it's in a slightly unusual position. I was lucky he looked away at just the right time. Oh, that's only a little bit sketchy. Let's get off that as quickly as we can.
don't think we're going to be able to go over there, so we've got to go around the edge. There's a bit we can climb up. Bit of extra wood for arrows. Did the guy fall off the edge? I guess he did. So clearly went a few more coins. Oh, and that's uh, an alternative route, swing round, I guess. And then I think we would have to climb up here, maybe. Either way, we're at the we're at the right height for what we want. Oh, I am so glad we were in that position. Oh, look at that. Okay, we landed. And it's only a bit of oil. Can we... Just go back that way? No, we can't. That's alright. We'll swing back around and up. And we'll be back there in no time. Oof. That was just a tiny bit scary. <laughs> Almost fell to certain doom. Here we go again. Okay, it wants us to go across to the right. I wonder how Trinity have been getting up here. Because we have encountered soldiers, and there's no obvious ladders. Right. A brand new area. The Flooded Archives. Let's have a look around in case there's any any bits to grab, but it looks like we're going up within here. Very uncomfortable. Look who it is. Let's just put an arrow in her and be done with it. Ballsy. That would be cold even for you, Lara. Then again, I know why you haven't pulled that trigger. 
Shoot me, and my men will cut you down within seconds. It's the one thing they're better at than you. Shut up, Anna. Don't move! You have no Oh, this is gonna be bad. Kill her! Now! Give us more chance. Croft is on her way. Kill her and bring me that goddamned Atlas. <sighs> How many men did they lose in that explosion? Quite a few. We've actually got a little document back here. Croft continues to create difficulties for us. She's rallied the Valley people from their squalid huts and helped lead them to a series of victories. I wish I could make her understand just how wrong she is. How misguided her ideas of morality are. The world is too flawed for stopgaps. A lone hero cannot rescue it. The idea of revealing the divine source to the world would be laughable if it wasn't so dangerous. Did I think she could be turned to Trinity's side before? Yes. But not anymore. We were close, she and I. There is a bond there, but I think now there is no other Was choice. a bond. She must be broken. And I know she can be broken. I've broken stronger than her. All right, well, I think this is probably gonna be a good point to finish this episode off. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Rise of the Tomb Raider. See you soon.